The Minnesota Vikings just landed one of the biggest edge rushers on the market in Jonathan Grenard. According to Ian Rappaport, the new stud pass rusher is going to the Vikings on a deal. I'm not sure what the deal is worth yet. Comment down below when it drops because I am making this video right away for you guys. But this is huge, okay? This is massive. Coming off a big year, we're going to break down some film and I'm going to show you guys exactly why this is going to be one of the most underrated signings of the entire offseason. Jonathan Grenard is one of my favorite players coming off last season looking at the difference in sacks if the nfl had a most improved player award it would go to jonathan grenard we're going to talk all about it in just one second let's jump right in now the craziest thing about jonathan grenard you're going to see him on the opposite side of will anderson here these two guys were so disruptive getting to the quarterback now you go from 2022 where you put up just once one and a half sacks and then you go to 2023 i know there's a big game difference there but he put up 12 and a half sacks this year i'm telling you guys right now him and will anderson were monsters right now the biggest thing about this pickup for the vikings is when you look at their depth chart you're losing Jonathan uh, Bullard, most likely. Danielle Hunter, free agent, right? Uh, DJ uh, Wonham, free agent. Uh, James Lynch. There's so many guys that are potentially losing this offseason, right? So with that being said, they needed to bring in some fresh talent. And right now, Jonathan Kennard might be the hottest edge rusher coming into free agency. As you see here against a big left tackle here, bulldozes through him. Look, it doesn't look like he is the biggest guy in the world compared to 79, but look at the pure strength, pure power as we get a face mask on the offensive lineman as well, but he's still allowed to get the sack as well. Guys, this is insane. Ronnie Stanley is a nasty left tackle, right? Unbelievable. Face mask and everything gets through and gets a sack on one of the premier MVP quarterbacks in the NFL, Lamar Jackson. Unbelievable sack right there. And he continued to do it all season long. Like we said, 12 and a half sacks unbelievable now with that being said they will need to go out and bring in someone else that can help them on the other side whether that's bringing back daniel hunter or going out there in you know signing another free agent drafting someone in the draft whether whatever it be they need to pair them up with someone else that can get to the quarterback now, another thing I want to point out to you guys is Minnesota's pass defense ranked number 21 in sack percentage. Obviously, this is going to be a major boost to that category. They also ranked number 24 in pass yards allowed per game, number 22 in interception percentage, number 32 in completion percentage allowed as well. Guys, obviously, these are terrible numbers. Now, you might be asking, well, what do the passing numbers have to have anything to do with Jonathan Grenard? Well, it, it, it really does, right? If you can get pressure on the quarterback it creates one of five different things a bad throw a bad decision um you know a misread a sack a fumble an intercept it can create so many different th things and you know a lot of people say the most important position on defense is pass rush jonathan grenard is exactly that and more and i think right away when you look at this vikings team offensively they need a quarterback but defensively this is the one area they really needed to shore up is that defensive line that front seven get some pass rush but other than that i think this is a phenomenal move for them going forward you're talking about a guy who over you know two seasons outside of 2021 has combined for about 20 sacks i mean guys this is a difference maker a guy that can make a lot of plays on the football um, a lot of plays on the quarterback i think this is going to be exciting and i do think people will start to fall in love with what he will bring to the vikings now do me a quick favor and comment down below a letter grade i'm going to give it a b plus just because i i they need a lot more holes there's a lot more holes that they need to fill up but overall i like the deal hit the like button subscribe if you're new join the family if you're new i will be covering the vikings for the rest of the offseason for agency the draft the trades anything that happens i got you guys covered and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video what a pickup